All right, YouTubers, what's going on? Doing another uh, unboxing first impressions video. We have a new knife here from Wee Knives, um, company out of China, and they are producing some pretty cool designs. And the 601 was pretty highly regarded by a lot of uh, knife lovers, so I thought, why not try out the new model, which is the 602. So this comes in a box, you also get this pouch. I've, I've opened it. It's a cool little pouch, man. You got. It's, I mean, it's really nice, actually. You've got some really soft uh, fleece lining here on both sides. You've got your little pivot tool here, because they do use uh, a custom pivot, but they give you a tool, which is awesome. And then you get the knife on this side. I think I have the clips stuck on some. There we go. All right, check this baby out. So this is their latest design. They call it this one, the 602. This is the black and white. This is a limited edition one. Um, this has the purple hardware, which actually looks really cool with the uh, black and the uh, raw titanium here, we'll call it. Purple uh, screws there, backspacer, pocket clip, and your uh, lock bar, lock bar uh, steel lock bar insert. There you go. Whew. That has got a buttery smooth action. So you got a tanto blade, Really cool looking Tanto blade. This looks like it's a almost a black wash. Yeah, that's they do a black wash finish on their knives. And yeah, it's a mystery steel on this. I think it's S35. It literally doesn't say anywhere on the knife or the yeah or the brochure or not brochure the uh, box, which is weird. Where's my little knife stand that I've been using? I where that thing went. I'm just gonna let it sit here. We'll prop it up on this Pelican case for now. Let's look that up real quick. So I just got this one in. It was actually supposed to come in um, last week, but I was out of town, and then package was delayed for unforeseen reasons. So it took me a while to get this, uh, longer than I'd wanted. So let's go ahead and. Uh, Pull that up real quick. Just, I'm pretty sure it's S35. It may even be uh, even a higher end steel. Let's see here. Yeah, S35. So I was right. Um, S35 VN steel on this one. You're looking at an overall length of 8.66 inches. Your uh, blade length is 3.62. Blade thickness 0.16. Your handle length is just shy over, just barely over five inches which I don't feel like it's that long, but I guess it's going from this longest point. I'll actually do a quick measurement. Handle thickness is 0.17, um, made of 6AL, 4VL titanium. So it has ceramic ball bearings, and all the hardware is titanium. So all the custom hardware is titanium as well. So that's a nice, a lot of times you'll see stainless steel. Let's go ahead and do that measurement like we talked about here of the handle. See, I don't, they have that wrong, because look at that. In no way is this five inches. Even if you measured, oh, they're probably measuring from that angle to that angle. If you measure straight across, you're like four and three quarters-ish. This is getting pretty worn out, I need to get a new one. So it's 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 a pretty good sized knife. It's not um, small by any means. Oh, you know what, I didn't grab my head and large bins on me, and it's in another room, so we won't do any size comparisons, but so just shy of five inches on your handle it's pretty stout um, blade thickness as well really cool uh, swedge here on the top look at that how that comes together like this almost like a harpoon point and then you have your tanto grind it's kinda cool when you look at it from that angle hmm. beautiful grind on this one too really well done I really like that tanto it's your uh, fuller here, we'll call it blood groove, some holes here, and they did like a key, almost a key lock pattern here. It reminds me of key mod, if you guys are familiar, with, if you're into guns and stuff, key mod um, rails kind of have a similar look to, to that, that's kind of what it reminds me of. The pivot's really cool actually, it is purple, it's kind of picking up blue in this video, but it's definitely purple, I don't know why it's doing that, it's the lighting I guess, and you do have some milling here on the titanium. Really well done knife. This is my first uh, Wee knife, and 
I heard a lot of good things, like I said, about the 601, so I thought I was going to get one, but then they announced this one, so I thought, you know what, I'll try the new one out, so. As, as far as I know, this is the first video on the 602. I could be wrong, though. Got the same keyhole um, on the clip there. It is a deep carry clip. It's got some good springs. Shouldn't have any problem getting that on and off your pants. And I, I really, really dig this two-tone with the DLC or um, really dark stone wash or uh, smoke wash type finish. And then you have the raw titanium. That looks really cool. And the purple, it just looks great. Ergonomics are good. It fits really well in the hand. Very, very comfortable. Um, I don't feel any hot spots. Let me just grab onto it real tough. No hot spots. You do have jimping up here, which is good jimping. It's uh, not terribly aggressive, not overly aggressive. Let's put it that way. You also have jimping here. So if you were to have this in the reverse grip, you got lots of jimping for your fingers there. I said jimping. Jimping. Here, another shot of your backspacer. Yeah, really cool. Still lock bar insert? Yes. Super smooth. You can tell it's on ceramics. I, I always feel like ceramics are just smoother than stainless steel bearings, and you can really feel it on this knife. Nice touch here is this jimping on the lock bar. Come on, focus there. There we go. Really nice jimping there to help you unlock that knife. Lockup is pretty... That's, that's pretty early, actually. Not bad. 20-30%. Definitely not going to go anywhere. Buttery smooth action, perfect centering. Detent is right on. I mean, you can see that oil still. This knife's so new. Super smooth, man. That thing is just super smooth. Flipper tab's not terribly huge, which is nice. And it does have jimping on the flipper tab. So, a lot of the things that a lot of US knife makers aren't doing, um, these Chinese companies are doing. And they better. <laughs> It's it's a kind of wake up call I hope. Um, this one comes in around 270, so you're sub 300 dollars. Full titanium, everything, hardware, frame lock, S35 VN steel, ceramic bearings. Pretty awesome, I would say. Very cool looking blade. Let's look at that Tanto. I wish I could find a little stand. I don't know what the heck happened to it? I used that one of my last videos, and it's missing. But, let's prop it up here again so you guys can just take a stare at that blade. Because that is one cool looking knife. I love that Tanto. Very aggressive, wide, wider Tanto. I like that too. Um, let's see what it weighs. I don't think I remember going over that spec. If I did, I apologize. I don't think I did. I'm going to guess over 5 ounces. Let's see if those liners... Oh, ooh, yeah. Well... You know, they are milled out, as you can see there, you can see some milling pockets in the titanium. And then on this side you have the, you know, the holes, keyholes, so that's going to lighten it up. 5.4. Not bad. Not a bad weight at all for this size of knife with full titanium construction, and it's a pretty thick knife. Um, oh, there they are. I gave this stat earlier, but not always are the stats online correct. So let's go ahead and measure. So at the widest point, it's almost exactly a half an inch. But up here at the top, it tapers. And it's like 0.38. So it, but if I measured all the way down here, it was 0.5. So. First impressions are really good on this one, man. This is sweet. Um, I think that color combination is just dope. Um, I was a little hesitant on the purple, but I really liked the the uh, smoke wash uh, DLC type look with the raw titanium. I thought that was really neat. Kind of looks like something you would have cost like a custom maker would do, or something you would customize. You know, have a knife pimper do, a knife customizer, and it comes that way from we. Like I said, it comes with the tool to remove and disassemble the knife. Remove. Just remove the screws and disassemble the knife. Oh, there's the S35 end. It does say right there. It's hidden there in the fuller. Pretty cool touch there, too. So you get a lot of custom touches. A lot of high, high, mid-tech, high-end production touches for, um, you know, a reasonable price, in my opinion. 
I wouldn't mind them seeing using a M390 or a CTS-204P or CTS-XHP steel, but the S35 happens to be one of my favorites. I've set it many times. I have tons of knives in it, and it holds a good edge, and it's not terribly hard to sharpen. So, so this is the Wii Knife 602. This is the black-white, they call it. It's also available in other color combinations, and for the money, I pick one up. Few dealers have these. Um, I got mine from Blades101 on Instagram. He is the, for a while, was the exclusive dealer of Wii Knives on, in the U.S., and I know Blade HQ has recently picked them up, and I think they just got these in stock as well. So you got two different options there um, to get this knife. Uh, Blades101 is a smaller dealer, so I recommend going through them, giving them their, your business, um, but it's up to you. You got a couple different options there, so good looking grind on that. Beautiful. All right, guys, that's my first impressions of the Wii 602. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. And we will see you on the next video.